The information of an ad hoc committee follows a letter dated 30th of January 2022 and signed by the head of the Babito ruling clan, the chief prince Fred Mujani Ruchunya, which ordered for the suspension of the three kingdom cabinet ministers from office. According to the letter, the officials were accused of lack of transparency and accountability for the kingdom resources, fraudulent and dubious withdrawal and expenditure of kingdom finances without any approved policy and activity planned in the palace. Dean Sir Edgar Gaba, Colonel Gwali Attorney General, na Minister wa Nsimbi, Dean Sir Robert wa Mwanza. Babanzi wa Rube Mokris. Mwotu Sobole, accessing the documents, Mwotu Sobole Kora, Iweta, audit, forensic audit. While addressing the media after a Kingdom parliamentary session, Isaac Kalembe, the speaker, revealed that the committee will interrogate the complaints. We have set up an ad hoc committee of investigation to investigate, to go deep to the bottom of these allegations to find out exactly what happened. Indeed, we, we, not, we noted with concern that the people who alleged this misdeed are being members of the Rukurato. The five-member committee have now been given one month to complete the investigation and report back to the kingdom. Because they have to, there are about three categories of people that they are going to, to, to interact with. One, uh, the, the cabinet, that's the prime minister the Attorney General and Minister for Finance, and then they are going to interview, to interview those people who made these allegations. Kalembe also confirmed that last week a team of security personnel from the State House and Corruption Unit were in the kingdom to investigate issues of mismanagement of funds. They came and uh, had uh, an interaction with the Prime Minister among other officials, and they asked for documents to to ascertain, uh, to, to find out whether the allegations were true or not. And the Prime Minister and his office gave them all the documents that they needed and they went back to Kampala and they, I think they are still undertaking the investigations. For us, we come out with an amicable position and we also see how we can set a new pace for our kingdom by resolving these, what, these problems. In the whistleblower's letter, it is alleged that an investigation was carried and they found out that indeed accounts had been opened in Equity Bank in the name of the kingdom. Accounts and bank statements retrieved and found that the sums of money were withdrawn by kingdom officials.